Yeah, hi everyone. I was just getting ready to have a vegan meal and I thought I would share with you. So, this is baked organic acorn squash with chives. That's organic chives, fresh organic chives. And here I have the kasha, it's like a grain, organic with vegetables, um, broccoli, there was actually some carrots in here, I already had to ate the carrots, so um, it's very good. And over here I have organic mushroom vegan gravy, and I have my organic couscous right here. So I just was going to let it cool off a little bit. And um, I wanted to uh, ask you if you've ever looked at your dollar, one dollar bill and noticed the pyramid and wondered what it stood for. Um, there's a lot of theories about it, but I just thought I would share my theory. Here at the very top, the eye is the very few elite um, with the most knowledge and they're way at the top and nobody knows about them. They're kind of invisible because they're kind of detached from the pyramid. And then you, as you go down, you get less and less knowledge and less wealth. And you, at the very bottom, you have the, the majority of the people with the less wealth and the less knowledge. So, yeah, the people at the top use think tanks and um, pretty much look at things for how they are and not for how you want them to be. Um, you know, we as humans are no different from any other species, so that's kind of how you have to look at it. And like all species, you have to keep them in check or they get out of control. So they kind of use money that way, you see, because if they didn't control money and everybody was allowed to build their wealth to no limits, then a lot more of our resources would have already been used up and people would just use up all the resources until there's none left and then you know we become extinct so in a way you have to have some kind of control not everybody can have all this wealth because I mean people are greedy let's face it right the more money you have the more you spend the more you spend the more you consume and the more waste there is you know, until people realize this and everybody has to try to live with nature instead of against it. So you have to have, you know, things in the environment that don't hurt the environment, like, um, you know, clean cars or organic, you know, and just non-toxic things. And you have to learn to live in a sensible way that doesn't intrude on the environment and nature. Um, there's a lot of new technologies now. They they actually developed this um, type of road where the water, instead of rolling you know off the ground and into the water and polluting the water or oceans with you know uh, grease and oil from the cars and chemicals and everything else it just seeps down um, you know right through the pavement so um, that would eliminate runoff and um, you know puddles and what have you um, there's also some green technology where they grow this type of algae it grows really in really short amount of time with very limited uh, water you know and um, so that would make a good feel actually I don't really like the idea of corn for fuel because 
it takes too much energy and water to grow. But I think corn would be good to um, to use for stuff like you know in place of plastics because plastics are really toxic and they take a long time to break down in the environment. So, yeah, there's a lot of uh, things like that I've been looking into, and it sounds really promising. Because, you know, it's not so much the population that hurts the environment, it's the way people live. So, you know, it's like all major cities should have really good public transportation and more bikes, I think. Like in Europe, they have these programs where you can just walk to any bike station and you know use a bike for a day and leave it at any other bike station that way you know bikes are available pretty much everywhere um, you know cities and towns need to be built more sufficiently where you can get to where you need to go um, more you know easily without needing a car all the time and I also think that there should be more gardens like people should have rooftop gardens organic you know and Towns should everybody should have trees with the you know produce you know food because it's kind of stupid to plant and water and take care of all these trees but they're not producing anything and you know it'd be a lot more easier on the environment if everybody just had some kind of a tree and you know everybody could get together on the weekends and you know sell their leave their produce at the farmers market and sell it so. That would be a good idea. So yeah, that, those are the kind of things I think about. Anyway, I'm going to have my dinner now. Take care.